Right guys, welcome back. And yeah. I know I said I was going to build the uh, automatic read form today and I realized I had absolutely no redstone. I had about seven pieces of redstone. So I can't really do that. So instead what I decided to do was well I am deciding to do because I haven't really done it yet. But uh, is finally conquer that uh, blaze farm. I found a good way of doing it. It's um I keep on mentioning other people's channels. But if you watch Ethos Lab he did a blaze farm spawner thing which is now currently not working because what he did was he suffocated them. But although apparently now uh if you suffocate them they don't drop anything and I tried it myself it doesn't work. But I've got the same idea, well, but it's manual kill thing, so it is a bit unfortunate the way I have to manually kill them. But, you know, if you're in the nether, you have to be there anyway, so you might as well kill them. That's got the same method where you force them to spawn to a small hole where they can't move. So, uh, yeah, so let's go in. Oh, yeah, sorry if that was very loud, hearing all that. I kind of forgot about that. Like, I didn't forget about it, but I've got my audio turned down quite a bit lower than it probably should be. But, yes, let's keep going. And, oh, wait, no, I think I'm not. I'm not oh, sorry, I'm peaceful. So I'm always nearly on peaceful. It's because I'm, I'm always doing maps and stuff. I promise you, I'm not. I, I do try and play in this as much as I can on normal. Once I try, I mean, I'd like turn it on like this and forget that it's not. I should always have a check before my videos to check if it's normal or something. On normal, at least. <coughs> Although, except these players' farms, I kind of turned down to easy a little bit because I, I freak out. Yeah. Oh, and I have officially decided I am definitely 100% going to do the Tales of Kingdoms mod as a series once it comes out for 1.9. Like, once 1.9 is out as well, technically speaking. But also, it'll be a good thing first. <laughs> but once, once it's out, and also uh, the man himself said that he is w currently working on a second half, which will be out in November. So, I'm not sure... I'll see like when there's more information information uploaded about it, but I'll see if uh, it's like sort of respawning thing because I might I might wait till it comes out as a full mod until you know before I do it because I I don't want to make the same mistake I did kind of with this where I started I spawned it like way too early before any of the Nether stuff map before most of the Nether stuff was there so I couldn't go into the Nether. Oh no. No. No 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 no. Why is he here? Flip. That was close. I got a blaze rod though. Oh I I just every time you just look at them you're like Ooh no. Well like in the wild when you look at them. They're not so bad when they're in a concealed cage or something, but in the wild, flip. Oh, and I found out why they kept on spawning. It's because they spawn at very high light levels. It's 13 and lower they stop spawning. Oh no, did I? Uh yes, I did. I brought the dirt though. Well, that's that's fine. Sorry, it's not spawning now. Anyway, so yeah, pretty much what that means by 13 or lower is I pretty much go in there and I buzz torches out rapidly. Pretty much everywhere I can, I have to place torch. 
so I want to try and do as much as I can. Also, I might keep him there because the more that can't get me when spawned, the better, I guess. He is starting to. Oh, about this. oh sweet, the torches are protecting me. I think. No, they're not. Not anymore, they're not. <laughs> I have to admit, this is the first one I did, I've done properly, where I've got it, because I did do one, okay I'm just going to have to be quicker, pretty much given no opportunity to spawn anywhere, no no that's not good, that's not good. They can all spawn in there, that's why they all are. Okay. I think that pretty much. I ah, see they can all spawn in here as well, so I gotta. Oh, I need to. I might need to get more blocks. I don't know what I'm thinking about. It's a bit pointless playing in that bottom there because they won't be able to spawn there anyway. That. Oh, it's there. I don't know why, but they always seem to go in some sort of like weird phase where they don't show their face. I'm just going. Oh, see, they can spawn down here. Ah, so I'm just going to do that. That's pretty much as much as I can do. They shouldn't spawn that much now. Oh, down here they can spawn. Ooh. Actually, I can just kill this person. Please. I don't need it. Okay, yes. So they shouldn't be spawning now. If I am correct. Or at least very rarely. Yeah, and I will need to actually go get more stuff. How much stuff do I have? How much? I, I mean, I'll just get more nether. I can, I can talk and everything while I'm there. Hmm. Now I'm going to need to clear out all this. Anyway. So yeah, I learned most of this hobby. It's just a verified version of Ethel's now non-working version of this. Okay. No, 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 no. I did not see that coming. Why is he spawning there? I think. I see. Yeah. Yes, can't miss a spot. Yeah, okay, that came out very odd. Um, <laughs> scratch that. I didn't say that. Technically speaking, they could spawn there if they did. Oh, I'm in a very dangerous situation right now. If one spawns, because I've got pretty much no place to hide. Although I highly doubt one will spawn. This is where I'm going to have to go out and get more stuff. I can use this cobblestone, yes. So, nine minutes talking, great. Uh, what to talk about? Okay, yes, I know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a mod review on the tail of whatever so you guys can check it out even though 
I'm probably going to have it started before anyone even views it because I'm going to get no views because I I'm not big in any way at all so um I don't know why I see I always accept things like well I would need to say if I had about a million subscribers and I just realized if I do that they can all spawn in some areas I'm just going to have to like it's one from four blocks away so it should be fine there okay let's get started in this so pretty much I'm just gonna have to restrict them from spawning anywhere which means filling in all this I'm actually quite lucky that I got this because this is a really well hidden one so I don't ha have to like do much sort of outside surrounding and stuff but good point also I find out I'm actually quite lucky to have found this because I was looking to do a test one on creative mode to see if it work, would work um, it did work but it took me for ages to find one of these so I'm actually quite lucky that it spawned right next to me Okay, I see this is the last rule. No, it's not the last rule because, um, well, no, it is. I suppose. Three. Oh, this is, I'm going to make these look all nice netheracky. If that made sense. Well, I'm doing it in a similar way. I do need this uh, thing for a reason. Because I know I'm not going to suffocate them, but I, you'll understand later. Let me see it. Pretty much, I need to force them to spawn there. Some more blocks, uh, yeah. I can't, I need to keep this, um, uh, a lit though. I think, no, no, it should be fine actually if I just do that. Well, it's quite dark out here to get some netherrack. 13 minutes in. I'm not sure how long this episode is because I'm sure I'm running out of ideas what to do. I mean, it looks like um, there's always stuff I can do still. I'm just sort of running out of ideas of just thinking about what to do. Obviously, I, most of it's going to be expansion is the main thing I'm trying to do right now. Eh? Oh, there's potions I still need to cover. Which would take quite a lot, actually. Cause I, well, no, it won't take quite a lot, but you know what I mean. It's you know, it's uh, I know I'm not like I'm um, not know what to do, but I just, just it's try kind of hard. That's pretty much theoretically what I want to happen, but um, not there. Well, I better actually keep this place covered still because I'm not finished with it. No, I am. Um, what do I want? I need one more. Uh. Oh. That's quite dangerous actually. Okay, sorry. Um <laughs> That's what I want to happen, but not now. But at least I know it works. Oh okay, that was scary. That was scary. 
No, it wasn't that scary actually. Sorry, I didn't. I don't seem remotely scared at all by it because it's not really that scary. And you're kidding me. I have no anything. I don't even have a pickaxe. I should have brought a pickaxe. Let's get rid of some stuff. I shouldn't be able to spawn any further than this anyway. Because they can only spawn four blocks away. And that is the third block, so this is the fourth. Uh oh. Okay, it should be fine now though. It should be fine. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea to that there. Okay. We should be good. Oh no, but I still want. It's not gonna look nice if I use dirt. Hmm. Did not come prepared for this. You don't get anything if you use it. There's no, no. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so I'll just I'll just be back with some pickaxes. See ya. Okay, guys, welcome back. And got some more pickaxes, and I also just collected a bit more netherrack. So yeah, we're just going to continue on with this. Yep. We still have 13 minutes left of the episode, so I'm not quite sure really what else I can do with this. I might just do some more nether stuff like collect some glowstone and things. No I don't need that. I know I just wasted that but I didn't need it so and I'll need that block. Okay good good. Sorry, I'm just trying to think of what I'm doing here. Uh, I'm not a good commentator. We all know this. Okay, let's let's see if this actually works. And can I just pick up? Yep. I'll just this. Hopefully, this will work. No, I think about it, I might want to make this just a little bit more out. Up here is not to be spawning anything. Oh, something got pressed there. Let's see what it is. Okay. Oh, it's nothing. That's fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and make this place look a ni bit nicer. Bit more presentable. Okay, I'm not doing any English accent again. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm normal. Not 
sure why they're not spawning. Hmm. Let me just go check. to be working now. Yeah, guess it was just a bit of unluck penis. Hmm, I can't quite get that. Cause exactly that could be the blaze <laughs> the blaze rod that we need. Why is that not going? Hmm. Oh good it works. See then I kill it manually. I can't suffocate it because uh it just doesn't work. Okay guys, I gotta go for a second, be right back. Okay, so this seems to be working good. Just involves me hitting it. Drops stuff. Doesn't always drop stuff. And also I realized uh why it wasn't working for my original design. Because my original design was a bit different than this. Where, as, um, it's a bit confusing, but it was a little bit different. Which I may need to adjust it. But I've got kind of a good idea. I can use with pistons, where it can raise the floor. If you're wondering why I have that there, first of all, it can tell me. You know, oh wait, yeah, sorry, it doesn't. Know. First of all, if something comes, it'll have a click, so I would know it was something was there. And second of all, it would work with. It can like I can turn something into redstone through it, like the pistons I was just saying. I think my in my original plan, I had a piston thing that was lifted up here. Then we'll track it again. It's kind of confusing. I think it's fine like this though. Just every so often there will be one block I can't get. They don't always drop things though. It's kind of annoying. Shouldn't be too bad though. Whoa. But we've got a farm going on this. So that's good. Hopefully... Uh, see, one thing I was kind of thinking was, I'm not, I'm not doing this anytime soon, I mean this is going to be about, oh there's a blaze down there with some pigmen. What I was thinking was that I could do what most people do and use the nether as a portal and make you go really far away from your original world and then you can move worlds. Oh no, that seems to be dropping blaze rods. It's kind of annoying, but I mean, you can only they can only drop as many as you make them drop. Well, actually, not many of them are dropping blaze rods. I mean, they do drop it. Used to, I just saw it a couple of minutes ago. I think it's just a bit unlucky. Also, in some ways, this is like an XP thing. It's kind of cheating a little bit, I suppose, because you know it's just in, infinite kill. But it still does work. Also, I'm thinking of upgrading my skeleton spawner to do this because it's just face it's it's so much easier, so much better. 
So if, see, uh, this is why I need it to be one down. Just, I'm not sure how weird that would look. I might just do the piston thing. Where it where it goes up. See, because they have a chance of spawning down there is the one problem. If they do. Ah, okay, dropping now. Okay, so it's fine. Sorry, I was talking and wasn't talking, I was doing stuff. Um But yes. So that is that working all dandy and good. Now we gotta get back home. Oh, uh, also some mo little bit more news about the uh, reed farm. Um, I found out that I said I was going to do it in that sort of box, but the sensor thing, it's it's just not big enough to do it there. If I was going to make it like a decently big, I could maybe about two or three bits there, but a decently. Well, I don't know what that's why. Like a decent uh, reed farm, I wouldn't have enough. So I think I might just do it manually for a while. Um, might make it our long special next episode. I'm not sure what I might do. Um, there's a couple of things I could do. Yeah, uh, I don't know. A couple of things I could do. A couple of things I might do. Some other things I might not do. You know what? Don't care about food. I'm just gonna bunny hop this. Mostly. But I do need to get something else going on the way. I'm thinking... Because I said I was going to do uh, tutorials. Like redstone tutorials. And then I found out something which is kind of a small problem with it. I'm not good at explaining things. It's kind of a big problem when trying to teach someone something. You can you can always just tell. You probably all know I'm rubbish at explaining things. I'm not surprised if none of you actually want to watch any of these because of it. Um, we have not got long left. That's actually turned out quite well, time-wise. Even though it took half an hour to do something which probably took about ten minutes. Never even got to eat the chicken there. So, we've got plenty of laser rods to go now. Another thing we need from the nether though is nether warp, I believe it's called. But that's kind of annoying because there's no real way of growing it. I don't think. Well, I know you can grow it in soul sand, but I'm not sure if you can grow it in the human world. If you can grow it in the human world, it's fine, because I can just go on a small adventure to try and find it. Creeper up there. Right there. Yep, we're going to take it on. You think, you think you're funny? You think funny? <laughs> oh, no, he thought he was funny. He succeeded in the funniness approach. He, 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 <laughs> I don't like this. And left my door open. Great start. That's not dangerous. Leaving your door open in a world full of mobs. Anyways, Halloween special. Want to do it. Definitely 100% going to do something like that. Not quite sure what I'm going to do, and I'm kind of running out of time since it is the 21st. I have 10 days to think of something and make something. And it's probably, it's not going to be like a legit world, like, well no, it is going to be a legit world. But it's going to be a slightly different, like, I'm going to pre-build a house, I'm going to pre-build, or pre-place, like, sort of, things and have objectives to do. I might install a couple of mods for it. Not sure. Like, just to quicken things up, because if I'm doing a like something to do. Like I might have something like go to the nether since it's Halloween I wanna make it quite Halloweeny. Like something like go to the nether, do some nether stuff. I oh I could do um 
fully take over a uh, blaze thing within two hours which is quite a big challenge to think about it like cause it involves going to the nether which involves getting diamond or obsidian or the lava thing which you know took about a good half an hour and then that other thing took a good half an hour and I actually over my time limit I think but yeah so next episode our long special don't know what I might do I might start making on the potions because I uh, quite like potions and I think an hour long should cover it quite well I might do potions, might not do. I'm probably gonna stop saying next times because I always nearly change my mind after I do next time. But what I do need to do is go mining off camera. A good old mine. Yeah, I keep on delaying this. Okay, see ya.